Kristen, Spencer's awesome, but he's not the satisfaction of all your deepest longings, and God never intended for him to be that for you. Spencer, Kristen's awesome, but she's not the satisfaction of all your deepest longings. God never intended for her to be that for you. Instead, marriage is far more mysterious and miraculous than just a means to justify our own desires with one another. Marriage is a beautiful picture, a reflection, but the thing it shows us is far more beautiful. And that's our union with God himself through Christ, who is himself the satisfaction of all our deepest longings, both now and forever. So Spencer, I ask you, do you commit to leading and loving Kristen as Christ leads and loves the church? I do. Preferring her above all others, do you accept full responsibility for her needs as long as you both live? In fulfillment of this responsibility, do you choose to protect and provide for Kristen, to listen to her inmost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care of her, and stand by her faithfully throughout your lives? Okay. Kristen, do you commit to following Spencer's leadership as you seek to love and respect him as the church is to love and respect Christ? I do. Preferring him above all others, do you accept full responsibility for his needs as long as you both live? In fulfillment of this responsibility, do you choose to honor and defer to him above others, to listen to his inmost thoughts, serve him, and stand by him faithfully throughout your lives? I do. Very good. The vows you're about to make reflect the heart of commitment you have for one another. Throughout your marriage, go back to these words as a reminder of that commitment. Spencer, as the new leader of your home, I'll ask you to go first and repeat these vows after me. I, Spencer. Spencer. Take you, Kristen, Take you, Kristen. To, be my wife. to be my wife. I promise to be steadfast in my faith in Jesus and faithful always to you. I promise to protect and defend you, guide you and provide for you, guide you, guide you and provide for you, in joy or sorrow, trusting God fully in all things. Trusting God fully in all things. I will, edify, I will edify, encourage, encourage and, instruct you, and instruct you as God makes me able. As God, makes me able. God, has loved me graciously, God has loved me graciously and without condition. And without condition. I, pledge to follow his example, I pledge to follow his example and do the same for you. That the name of Jesus might be exalted through our marriage. I promise to give my life for you. I promise to give my life for you. Until we part from this earth, until we part from this earth, I pledge to you my commitment, I pledge to you my commitment, my friendship, my friendship, and my love. And my love. Kristen, in response to Spencer, repeat these vows after me. I, Kristen, I, Kristen, take you, Spencer, take you, Spencer, to be my husband, to be my husband. I promise to be steadfast, I promise to be steadfast, in my faith in Jesus, in my faith in Jesus. And faithful always to you. And faithful always to you. I give to you all that I am. I give to you all that I am. In joy or sorrow. In joy or sorrow. Trusting God fully in all things. Trusting God fully in all things. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To esteem you above all others. To esteem you above all others. And submit to your leadership. And submit to your leadership. In all things as unto Jesus. As in all things as unto Jesus. I will care for you and comfort you. I will care for you and comfort you. Striving to encourage. Striving to encourage. And edify you always. And edify you always. I will seek to help you lead our family. I will seek to help you lead our family. With a heart that is utterly submitted. With a heart that is utterly submitted. To Jesus. To Jesus. As we serve him together. As we serve him together. Until we part from this earth. Until we part from this earth. I pledge to you my commitment. I pledge to you my commitment. My friendship. My friendship. And my love. And my love. Very good. You've brought rings for one another as lasting symbols of the vows you've just made. May I have the rings? Spencer, repeat after me as you place this ring on Kristen's left hand. Kristen, I give you this ring. Kristen, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. Kristen, repeat after me as you place this ring on Spencer's left hand. Spencer, I give you this ring. Spencer, I give you this ring.
sure I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. At this time, Spencer and Kristen will signify their unity together by weaving a cord of three strands. Spencer and Kristen, you've taken vows to each other and exchanged symbols of your commitment and love in the presence of both God and these witnesses. So it is my joy to say that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Spencer, you can kiss your bride.